Okay, well, I think we are about done. After I just take a peek at the wooden apple here. Is that a lazy Susan? Oh my goodness, that is a lazy Susan apple. Now, how can I leave that behind? Well, I could if it was like, you know, $12, but it's not. It's only $3.99. It's coming with me. goodness it has been such a fantastic day the sun is shining the static electricity is out <laughs> but my tortoises came out today yay well two of them did uh bubbles and tiny came out and had a drink and had something to eat I checked on the other two and they are alive because uh, you have to do that. You, sometimes you just have to tickle a foot and make sure, but they're both alive. They're just not ready to get out of bed yet. I don't quite blame them. I, I, I know how that feels. Uh, so, um, happy day. Tortoises are up. So there will be footage very, very soon of the torties going forward. Um, I am going into Goodwill the day before they switch to the $1 on the discount color because Mondays have gotten quite busy. So now I'm here on a Sunday evening to see not only what they're restocking the shelves with after a, a busy weekend, but also to beat the crowds tomorrow. So we're going to get in there and we're going to see what we can find. So with that, let's get shop done. Alright, let's get in here and find ourselves a lucky cart. I think it's this one right here. Alright, we are going to start in the metals. Kind of like the look of that, but it's just a single. What is that? Is he a pumpkin? He is a pumpkin. He's a I don't know what you'd call him, but he's kind of cool. There, let's make him look cool. I'm not going to buy him, but he's cool. He needs to show his little coolness. Is that a wine holder? I think it is. Okay. This is Broncos country. Where's all the Broncos fans? $4.99. That might be a good pickup. I'm gonna grab that. All right, I know it's a little bit hard to see these shelves. They, all the metals kind of blend in. Oh, she's kind of fun. $7.99 though. Kind of a hanging jewelry rack kind of girl. She's got some little hooks there. Kind of fun. Okay, what are you? Star and a heart? <laughs> we got an old little, little metal cash box maybe? It's got some dividers in there still. No key though. Who makes you? I don't know who makes... Oh! Patent pending. That's who makes it. It is vintage. It's an old little box, but it's pretty beat up. So, because of that, I'm going to leave it. If it was in better shape, I would have been pretty tempted to pick that up. A fireplace screen? Is that what that is? I think it is. For $7.99. That's a great price. Oh, hello, you. Right there in front of me. Now, what is this missing? Why Why does that have that and then it doesn't sit, you know, let me show you on something flat. It's going to kind of go like that. Hmm, what could I put here? What could I do? Because I kind of love these and they're heavy. They got some weight to them. 
it just says um, movement movement from Taiwan case assembled in India huh 399 I think for 399 I can figure this out I noticed as I was moving this bowl over that it's got a lot of weight to it it's an armatail which I think is Wilton heavy heavy bowl Oh, that's how you go. All right. Got a little Bath and Body Works. Dragonfly guy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's about it in the medals today. This is the best sign. Unattended children will be given an espresso and a new puppy. <laughs> I'm grabbing that for 99 cents. Look how cute he is with his little bird friends. This is one of those um, dream sickles, which, ooh, $10, which just don't sell well, especially when you have like schmuzh on one of the birds. But I thought for a minute his head was broken, but I'm, I'm happy to report his head is not broken. It's just got smooch on it. That makes me feel much better cute little house rule sign there. We have that sign at our house. Not exactly like that. It's different. These are, um, who makes these? The cat's meow. And they're made in all these different little traditional houses. It's not something that I sell because there's a lot of them out there which tends to bring prices down. This one caught my eye though. The swan boats. That one's cool. I like them, and I'm sad that they don't bring more money, but they just don't. Hmm, it's very quiet in here again tonight. It would appear that their radio is not working. Because it's very, very quiet. I see a really cute puppy print down here. What is he sitting in? I'm trying to figure out what this leather, I guess it's just a chair. $12.99. Don't know about that. It's cute though. What do we got back here? I see a whole bunch of vegetables. Looks Oh, because you can change out, there's hearts, there's shamrocks, there's, you can change out the sides of the basket. These, these are removable, so you can switch it for whatever holiday it goes with. I kind of love that. And of course it has no price, so they will have to give us a price at the checkout. Shelves, set of two. Those are small shelves. Kind of small. What are you doing up there, buddy? Goodness. I think these actually sell for some pretty decent money, if I remember right. And this one's colorful. I think somebody's painted it. How much are you? You're only $2.99. I think I'll grab you. Cute little candle holder. I wish there was a pair, but there's not. Ooh, I should get these for Noah to put into his new fancy shoes so he can keep them nice. I saw a cribbage board up there I'm going to look at in a second after I scan down here and see what we got. All right, let me go back to the cribbage board. It's a Milton Bradley. Looks like a wood one. Is it taped shut? Kind of need to see if the cribbagey pieces are in there. Oh, I hear them. They're in there. $2.99. I'm going to grab that. Oh, we got lots of Norman Rockwell plates. 
They do not do well. But then look, there's another one of these, and I have been picking these up when I find them, except this one does have a chip. They're, you know, 20 to $25 for these cool little block bud bases, but they can't be chipped. So I can't get that one, unfortunately. Just like I can't get a lusterware dog missing its head. That's a shame too. Just, just can't do it. Let's see, this is cool. This is very cool, actually. It is a terracotta. I guess a candle would go over that. I don't know if it's supposed to have another piece underneath, and I also don't know how much it is, but it's cool. I'm gonna get it. I've got a kind of a hobbyist wedding base there and a really, really sad robin missing half of his beak. I've got a little tea set back here, all taped together. There's four little plates. I don't think the teapot has its lid, so that is a deal breaker for me on that. Teapot has to have its lid. Oh, hello, aren't you cute? bring you over here. It is the old old people bookends for $5.99. They are Norleans. I'm gonna grab those. And there's a very large chicken. Oh, I thought he would be resin. He's not. He's Royal Crown. $14.99. He is broken up here though. He is a broken rooster. Too bad, because he's pretty. Very pretty. There is another bird figurine here. Look at you. Mm, flowers are broken on this one. It's $3.99, which is not a bad price, but for resale, we need flowers not to be broken. What is this? Is it Somebody with a hand over their head kind of a thing. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. Lots of those ceramics still here. Now this is either Japan or... I think it's Japan. I was going to say Czechoslovakia, but the lusterware makes it more Japan than Czechoslovakia. $5.99 for this guy. I'm going to put it up here. Keep it a little safer. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's really heavy. Wowza, that's really heavy hair resin. Super adorable though. We will leave you. Honorable mention. That one gets an honorable mention. As I go over here to get the mirrored dresser tray for $3.99. We'll get that. And there are more Norman Rockwells and some Beanie Babies and some Dollies. Not the kind that I look for. Oh goodness. And then a big old bowl of fake fruit. Now these are like the paper mache ones. Oh, very very dirty these can do really well and i'm not super thrilled about the 12.99 price but i think there's enough pieces there and with the wood bowl that is a good deal Let's see a cat back here who are you oh my goodness you're cute five dollars i think he's worth five dollars don't you he's really adorable you know, I always have to look at the pumpkins. I pick a lot of them up, but I'm going to leave that one behind. More kitties. These are resin. This one. Also $5, but that's not as good as the other one. Just not, not quite as cute. And then we have a glass bird. I don't 
quite know what's going on with this glass bird. I mean, definitely not a Murano, that's for sure. And he's hollow on the inside, but I think I'm gonna get him for $2.99. That piece is still here, and then we've got a bag full of magnets, stuff that I don't really deal with. Got a bird kind of thing there. Local California honey chamomile soy candle. Let's see if this one smells good. Oh, no, that one doesn't smell so good. That one's easy to leave behind. What do you say? Heritage, China, Judy, Buzzwell? It's cute. single candle holder. These are interesting. We are officially out of candle season. Good food requires a loving hand. Why has it got it's two pieces? And then there's this little Faith Hope Charity. This is Cute for a dollar forty-nine. I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, that's an item I will probably give away at one of my live sales. Bonita home, little apples, a little chick candle holder. Very cute. Let's see what we got up here. Got a cute little Santa. Oh, he's heavy. Traditions, what does that say? Traditions in stone, 92 original 93, Orlando Pina. Well, he is vintage. It's marked all over the place except for the price. So we're gonna put him in the cart and find out how much he is. Oh no, Noah. Our fake plant aisle is pretty bare once again. No more fake plants for us today. We got Bruce the Wine Stopper though. Bruce, <laughs> Bruce the Wine Stopper. It's pretty funny, I gotta say. I'm, I'm gonna pick him up to use as a giveaway as well. So we got some little lone, whatever those are. Nothing to write home about. That's for sure. Small little enamelware casserole dish. There is a big, huge, really cheaply made vase down here. Let's see who makes you. Looks like nobody noteworthy. It's a little Creamer by Syracuse China, which is restaurant wear. And that's super cute. I think I am going to pick that up. Again, no price, so they'll have to give us a price at the register. Then I noticed this blue vase. I think I looked at this the last time I was here. I just don't, I don't like the edge. It just, it's hard to explain, but it just doesn't feel right for a high-end piece. We really only want to pick up nice quality glass, not cheap glass. All right, nothing on these shelves. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Oh, except him. That's got a, a silver tip, but still these don't bring very much, but I don't want the bottle, I just want the stopper. Just want the hillbilly wine stopper. Helen, Helen Back, S16. 
Helen ain't no stranger to horse nor cow, and she's rougher than a pair of rawhide underwear. In fact, she's so tough, she has to trim her toenails with hoof nips. <laughs> $1.99. All right. She's coming with me. We will give the plastic aisle a little once over. Looking for Tupperware, looking for things out of place. What? What's a chip-tastic, no-guilt microwave potato chip maker? Potato chip maker? Noah could have some fun with that. See, oh, as seen on TV. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna, we're gonna give this a go. What do you think, Noah? We are gonna make some potato chips. All right. I guess we're in the potato chip making business now. Let's see what else is swimming around on the shelves. See what I did there? <laughs> these are really, I'm thinking, oh, what could I put in these? What kind of food could I store in these for my fish? Because <laughs> we have clam fish, but no, I don't need those. I don't need them. Okay, let's see what we got over in the plates today. Mason jar sconces from Homco for $9.99. I kind of like those. I think that's what we saw over on that first aisle though. These have a very sparkly glass look to them. There's one with three slots and one with two slots, and I have no idea what you would use these for. And they aren't marked at all either, which doesn't help. Still got some of the Apple, Applejack brand stuff here. Oh, I see a kind of a fun turkey and a pumpkin. Turkey and a pumpkin. Who makes you? Ooh, you are made in China. $6.99. I think we will leave you for $6.99. Got him. It says just desserts. Made in China. Oh, it's another one of those little file away boxes. That one wasn't a money box though. All right, nothing up here. It's kind of a nice set of Crown Royal glasses with the little diamond pattern. Some barware can do really, really well. I don't sell a lot of barware, but I do sell anthropology mugs, especially when I can pick them up for 99 cents. Look at that. It's, it's like, it's right there, just waiting for the world to see. And it's, you know, let me turn it around. Oh, I see why it's here. Well, ain't that a bummer. Ain't that a bummer. Okay, never mind. That will not be coming home with us now. I'm always happy to spot that stuff before I get up either to the cash register or even worse, home. And then I'm going, oh, well, that's why it was still there at the store. Tequila, whiskey, vodka. No thanks. Nothing really calling out to me in the wine glass section today. Except, what do these say? These say Al's Private Bar. So I would have to find Al to buy those. I'm really drawn to these cute little espresso cups, which are definitely restaurant wear, but I don't know who makes them because 
they're covered. Of course they're covered. Those are really, really cute little cups. I like those a lot, but we are going to leave them. Check out what else the mugs have to behold. This says Rochelle. That's one I'll probably, I'll look up because that has a really interesting look to it, almost a raku. And it is, it's La Rochelle, La Rochelle. So that one I'm gonna look up. So if there was two of these, I would definitely pick them up because uh, you can sell a pair for like 20, 20 to 25, but a single only sells for like 10 to 12. So because it's a single, I'm gonna leave it, but I am gonna look at this adorable bee who, you know what? I don't even care who makes you. You're a really adorable bee mug for $2.99 and I'm gonna get you. I'm suspecting there could be some good mugs here because whoever donated the anthropology probably donated others, so. We'll dig a little deeper and see what's hiding in here. Like maybe a little, little spot dog, a world market spot dog, three ninety nine. dollars mm, not bad. I do really good with mugs down at the booth. Even if I sell them for $10, I know I'd rather, I'd rather triple my money, but turning four into 10 isn't bad either. That one might be worth a little more. I'll know after I do my research and then I include all of that in the recap that I put at the end of the video. So hopefully you stick around to see what I bought, what I paid for it, and how much I'm gonna sell it for. And I do base that off of researching actual sold comps. I don't just pull numbers out of my head, I do the research on every single item before I post the video. I don't like those too. Freshly brewed. Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It's a nice travel mug. Used to do really well with the travel mugs and now they've gotten so more high tech with, you know, with lids and such that you gotta have the, the whole caboodle that is Minecraft. <laughs> Why do I know that? Because my kids were obsessed with Minecraft. And so we will take that and figure out how much that one is. All right, well, it's turning out the mugs are gonna be like one of our best sections. All right, now we are in the kitchen stuff. That uh, is, that actually goes like that. Hmm. Nothing too exciting yet. Vins de Bourgogne. I don't know. Why do I even try? Why do I even try to say these names? It's a Sakura. I don't even know why I try. I shouldn't. Because I just butcher the French language so bad. I need to shop with Tiffany so that she can tell me the correct pronunciations. Because she can do the French. Who makes you? China makes you. Cute. Heavy. Oh, good. It's still here. So last time, you may have remembered. I uh, had to text Carrie and say, which one of these did you need? And she didn't get back to me before I was checking out, but it's the red one and the red one we shall get. I feel kind of bad breaking up the set. That's got a rooster on it. That's kind of a cool canister. It's a little big, a little bigger than I want to be shipping. So I will leave that for somebody else. R A. Kikuchi? A eh, Kikuchi? Okie dokie. What are you? Huh. A cook's dry measure. Ooh, that's a... Oh, I thought that was better than it was. 
thought it was going to have some weight to it. It did not. It had no weight to it. Okie dokie. Nothing here. That's an interesting pot. Oh, it's heavy. It's ceramic. I mean, it's, it's ceramic. I bet that's an expensive pot, but holy moly, that thing is heavy. I have never seen a pot like that. I mean, this is solid brass and that's copper and it's, it says solid copper, Korea. Gosh, anybody know anything about that? Let me know down in the comments. I've never seen one, never seen one. Sushi mats. This is a penguin cheese board by Reed and Barton. Oh, I might have to look that up. Well, I think I'm gonna take a chance on this. There's only four listed and they're all over $25. 25 is the cheapest one. Uh, there's no solds currently, but I bet Christmas time that will be a hot commodity. I'm trying to close the box so the little knife doesn't fall out. It's all in there. It's very cool. It's uh, $5.99. We're going to get it. Now, I know these Presto uh, pressure cookers can do really well, too. But again, not my niche, not something that I really know how the condition affects the resale value and not really anything I want to learn about either. Dragon, drag, Dragon Ball shirt. Just sitting over here. Oh, it's stained. That would take some work. Yeah, so I tend to just stick with things that I know that I can write up fairly quickly because time is money. Ooh, that's not a good set. Time is money and you hear me say that a lot, but truly I see a lot of people who don't value their time and realize how much they eat away at their profits by spending too much time on things that they don't really know about. Okay, I see what these are now. These are butter. They're butter thingies and they put the little warmer underneath, but we can't do the candles anyway. So, but I got the little thing for Noah last week, but now I know what its purpose was. It's to be for butter. It's a cookie cutter. Okay, well, I think we are about done after I just take a peek at the wooden apple here. Is that a Lazy Susan? Oh my goodness. That is a Lazy Susan apple. Now, how can I leave that behind? Well, I could if it was like, you know, $12, but it's not. It's only $3.99. It's coming with me. All right, they still have some of the dog calmer beds. Ooh, wavy cat scratcher. Drafting and design fade out vellum. I'm just always fascinated with what shows up at the thrift store. You just never ever know. You never know. How about the little Irish spring? Okay. Mm, don't see anything here. All right, now on to the Mishy Mashy Isles. Or again, there can be just about anything that shows up here. What are these? They look like canvas, but they got like these map things put on them. I don't quite understand that, but. Rachel has plenty of canvas right now. Ooh, this is really good for shipping. $2 a roll, which is what it was anyway, though. But I do get a little discount, so. That one, $2 too. I think I'm gonna pick those up. Kind of digging the, the donut case here. Would have held what maybe cds or something very cute got a little 
photo album -y thing. All right, nothing else. Tools and more mishy mashy. So much mishy mashy. Gotta look, I gotta look closely, see if there's anything we shouldn't be leaving behind. Crafting a good calculus. Yeah, no thanks. No calculus for this girl. anything here except maybe the big bobber floating cooler. I gotta look that one up. Well look what's going in the cart. This little bad boy sells for about $25 in used condition and it's only $5 so I'm gonna pick that up. Give me an A. Kind of like that A. I might get that A. Nah I'm gonna leave that A. Cool A though. All right, a little peek see through the lamps. A little more stocked up than the last store I saw, but still nothing that really makes me go, I gotta take you home with me. There's some vintage here. Interesting ones. Oh, but wait. What's that? What is that? Ooh. Those are very cool, but definitely not something I would want to ship. We'll just give them an honorable mention. I'm perusing the art. I just found this really nice little painting that was done by Andy Bend. Andy Bend, 2001. I, is that what they're trying to say there? I think I could be totally making that up, but I had to give a little shout out. Very nicely done, very pretty. Well, I've gone through the entire art section here and found not a thing. All right, on to the pillows. See what the pillows have to hold today. That's got a peacock on it. That is so lumpy. Very, very lumpy. I'm looking to see who does the, like if I could sell the pillow cover without the pillow. Stand by. So it's not a super high-end brand. It's Whamsetta. And it's just a... What is it? Viscase and linen. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Let me look a little closer here. It just doesn't have the vibrant color. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking for some vibrant colors on this and it just seems a little washed out to me and I just can't get behind it. So I'm gonna leave that one. See, and like, here's another, it's a pretty one. That could go on the same couch together, but again, I, it, there's something just not super appealing about it. Oh, what is going on with this doily? It is, it's got these floofies. It's got major, major floofage going on here. I guess they're supposed to look like, oh, like carnations. Is that the dealio here? Carnation floofage? Kind of? Sort of? Hmm. I know I'm playing with it. I don't know how I feel about that one. I just... Okay, you know what? It's 99 cents. So, you know what? I'm going to see how you guys feel about this one in an upcoming live sale. Boo, shriek, woo. All right, I'll pass. Pass on the Boo Shriek Woo. I think that's it. I think there is nothing else here for us to find. So looking through the textiles, I find some more of this pinkage, pinkage. It's like this is heavily starched. These feel no, that one's starch too. This one feels normal. This one feels starch. This one feels starch. But the three of these are 99 cents. So I'll pick those up also. I guess I'm going to be on like a doily, a doily splurge. Because they're all just 99 cents. And I know. Oh no. Oh, that one's, that one's bougie. That one's $1.99. What do you think? Hmm. And then there's a purple one. 
And I know I have lots of purple fans. So that one, that one's 99. And then we've got these little brown ones. It's $1.99, but there's several of them. What the heck? I think I'm gonna pick them all up and sell them in my live sale. There is nothing like walking down an aisle and then looking down and seeing eyes staring at you. I mean, even if it is a sparkly rainbow unicorn, that is bizarre. It's just bizarre. I'm over in the toy section and I spotted all of these. There's, there's such an array of things in here. Um, I saw kind of like the soldiers and they did, I don't think they're very old. Um, but then as I was going through, I noticed that there are some Star Wars guys mixed into these. Wait, where is he? There's Star Wars and there's like some, yeah, see, there's like, there's stormtrooper guys in there and stuff. And I don't know what these are worth, but what I do know is Carrie is really good at selling baggies of stuff down at her booth. So we have a little project to do. We're going to have to sort these all out by which characters go with what, and uh, we'll sell these down at her booth. I spotted this guy. He's an Orbeez, Orbeez Sports, and these sell for about 10 bucks, 10, 10 to 14. It's kind of that whatever team is popular, but uh, he's $2.99, so we're going to leave him behind, but I did want to point him out that had he been like 99 cents, I probably would have picked him up. But look at this guy. He's a Hallmark. That is a really cool looking black cat with his little purple paws. He's $2.99. I'm going to grab him. On my way over to go check out, I happened by this cart of shoes they just brought out and these caught my eye. Um, they come from the spirit store. They're for Halloween and uh, they're really good quality and they don't look like they've even been worn. So for 10 bucks, I'm gonna pick those up. Well, and as long as I'm at it with shoes, for $5.99, I'm gonna pick up these Dr. Scholl's True Comfort. Again, they look brand spanking new and they're only six bucks. And since I'm getting one set of Dr. Scholl's, I might as well get two. Look at these are, now nah, these have been worn. Somebody just kept the, uh, the stuff in them. Kind of cute though. And they are a good size. I think they're size, I think they're size eights. The others, the other ones were size eight. Yep, these are size eight also. Yeah, why not? I'm going to pick those up for eight bucks. Okay, well, this is a much different cart than I normally have, but I've got a really interesting mix in here. Everything from a fishing float to shoes. Who would have thunk it? All right, we're off to go check out. Stay tuned for the recap.
Well, that was a very, very pleasant shopping experience with no music playing. I don't know. I do, I do like a little music playing while I'm shopping because I sing along and, you know, unless it's like music I just can't relate to, but I do like a little music, just not super loud music. So having no music was a little weird, but makes it really cool for making a video that I don't have to worry about YouTube copyright claims. <sighs> so all of those things that did not have a price, she let me have for 99 cents each. And the basket with all the different uh, edges that you can change out for $1.99. And I think, weren't the, I think those were the only things not priced. Oh yeah, and $1.99 on the, like that cut out pottery candle holder kind of a thing that I still don't know what it is. I just thought it was cool. Uh, so my total bill was like $130 for everything. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Plus I got a couple gadgets, you know, for us as usual. So with that, I'm heading home to the kids. We're gonna have a nice family night together and you, Go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. I realized it's been a little while since I've given an update on the aquarium. And uh, we've added a few new critters. Of course, we still have our clowns. There's our little wrasse. That's called a royal, I call it a royal gamma. I think it's a royal grandma. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there's Blenny, little Blenny. Then we have Mr. Foxface. Actually, I don't, I don't know if it's a Mr. or Mrs. My goodness, you guys move a lot. Let's see, there we go, focus, focus. We got some new lighting, so it may look a little blue, and it's lighting that the corals like better. Oh, let me show you this guy. So there's the two anemones that we have, and right underneath that anemone is a little crab. Do you see that little crab? It's an anemone crab. Let me see if I can zoom a little bit. Oh, I love this little creature so much. It sits there and it eats off the little fringe on its hands, arms, claws, fox face. You are getting in the way. Um, so we got that guy. These are actually corals. These, we call them mushroom corals. There's different color variations and such, but this one's actually having babies. See, one of the babies is down here on this little shell. Pardon the algae on the tank. And then we got those. These, these two up on top here, the green and the reddish, are mushroom corals. And then that little guy with the green and the red, that's actually an anemone. And then we've got, this is coral. Oh, there's little Jack the seer. I have, I have some camera hogs. I have camera hogs here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you Jack. And I have got a very, very silly clownfish that just uh, wants to take over the whole shebang. There we go. There's Jack the urchin. He goes around the tank and he steals stuff. He doesn't have anything right now, which is a surprise. Let's see. Oh, this, this little coral is new. This one on top here, that's a new coral that we just got. And that one we've had for a while, and that one we've had for a while. And there's, these are called scarlet hermit crabs because they have those bright, bright red scarlet feet. Let's come over here. Oh, there's a little royal gamma up close and personal. This is another new coral. This one's, this one's had a rough little uh, adventure overnight because Jack took it and took it for a ride around the aquarium. So he's kind of recovering today. There's another really pretty mushroom. And I don't know if I've ever shown my scallop. Look at this guy. We have two, but one of them hides. But look at that electrical pulse that goes through them. Isn't that crazy? They're really, really fascinating. Oh, and there's our little uh, murderous firefish. Let's see if I can get him. There he is. That is a firefish, and he uh, he killed all of our other firefish. We're a little mad at him, but he's pretty. He's got pretty going for him at least, right? 
All right, we've got lots and lots of little snails that, oh, and there's our goby. There's our little diamond goby who goes around and cleans the sand. Let's maybe he'll show us a little of his action. Yep, see how he sifts the sand and he cleans it up and gets what he can out of it. And his name is actually Gobi One. Gobi One, and uh, we have another one in here, a different species of, oh, there he is. This is Obi Wan the Gobi. Oh, I don't know if we can focus past the, uh, oof, we got algae on the, algae on the glass, algae on the glass. But there's little, oh, and he does pretty much the same thing. Sorry guys, if I'm making you a little seasick there. But that's little, um, that is Obi-Wan the Gobi. Yes, there, oh, he's gonna show himself off. There he goes. Hello, little guy. We sure love you. You're just awful cute, awful cute. So that's kind of the, uh, the update on the tank. We're having lots of fun with it. It's like growing a garden, really. Um, oh, we got a snail on a snail. So let me see if I can get these clowns out of the way. So the large snail is called a turbo snail. And the little guy riding on his back is a bumblebee snail. And the little bumblebee snails normally only come out at night. But this one is uh, apparently uh, hungry and coming out ahead of time. There's another turbo snail. But yeah, you won't see them. Let's see if I can show you some of their little hiding spots. Oh, yes. So if you look inside there, see way deep in there, there is another little bumblebee snail and they come out at night and do their thing. And then we have, we have some snails that you can't even see because they bury themselves into the sand. So, uh, but they're in there too. And that's called the cleanup crew. And they're very, very necessary in a saltwater tank to keep everything all processed and working as it should as far as the bacterias and all the stuff you got to keep track of with these guys but we're having a blast with it <laughs>